the media is our worst enemy, which is nowadays controlled by Maronites, Christians, by Jews, by atheists, by secularists, not definitely by Muslims, because rarely you will find a Muslim, real true Muslim, controlling any type of media. And this media is our worst enemy because it portrays a non-hijabi woman, a non-practicing Muslima, to be educated, intellectual, sophisticated, beautiful, while a Muslim woman who's righteous and practicing, they portray her as retard, uneducated, doesn't know what to say or how to act, so primitive. And this is a sort of brainwash that the cause of all of this is her religious commitment. If she wasn't practicing, if she was easygoing, if she attended nightclubs and mixed with men and had no issues with hijab or music or watching movies, she would have been a perfect person. This is what the media is doing. And we all know what the media is doing now in terms of enforcing the, the, the uh, uh, concept of LGBTQ, homosexuality, forcing it to the children, even at primary schools, introducing it in all aspects of life to be the norm. They are normal people. They can live their normal life. You have to accept them. You have to promote them and endorse them if they are within your community. This is what the media is doing. The media is creating a virtual battle between men and women. And the media insists to creating another man. So women now, they look and sound like women, but they're actually being transformed into another man. I do a lot of counseling sessions, as you guys know. And a lot of these counseling sessions, when I sit with the men and women, I usually discover that these women are not real women. They have this idea of being independent. Though she takes everything from her husband, he provides for her. He gives her money, shelter, food, but she still feels that she's independent. He has no right to control me. He has no right to do this, to do that. And the man complains. He says, Sheikh, I'd like to have a wife, not a colleague living with me. Whenever I say something or ask for something, she says, you do it yourself. Yet she demands everything from me. So this is what is being created through the media nowadays.